The question I get a lot is, does a revive straighten the teeth? And the answer is yes. Another one I get is, does it leave ugly gaps, right? And usually, from my experience, it does not. But anyway, I want to get into why this is a little bit today. Let's start out with a little bit on why teeth are crooked to begin with. I'm certainly not the one that, you know, figured this out and certainly not the only one with this view, but it's essentially like teeth being crooked is a real estate game, right? If your jaw and your skull develop to the correct width and volume, you would have room for all your teeth to come in straight, including the wisdom teeth, right? This almost never happens in these days, right? Most people struggle to get, for example, their wisdom teeth to come in, and that's because there's not enough space in their jaw, which means that it didn't develop to the correct width or depth or not. So the problem of crooked teeth is a problem of real estate and creating more real estate. And so the question then becomes, how do you do that? And so my view on how this the way the soft tissue works is you need to stretch the soft tissue. What you don't want to do is what dentists or orthodontists will often do is use things like screw-based palate expanders, right? That is like forcing these bones and sutures open. And what's going to happen is the soft tissue is kind of holding everything here and you're just forcefully pushing the palate apart. But the soft tissue is going to crush, right? Like the soft tissue is not expanding. So the soft tissue stays there. You're forcing the palate apart. And so cranial bones and different you know, bones are just going to derange a little bit. And that's why most people that do palate expansion with a screw-based expander are going to get more asymmetric because the soft tissue, the balloon covering all these bones stays where it is and you're just forcing bones apart. And so other bones need to compensate for that. And that's not the way you want to do it. The way you want to do it is the way that Revive does it, which is, you know, stretching this soft tissue, inflating the balloon so that everything has more space and can move apart, right? And that is what is cramming the palate to begin with. And as it opens, there's more space and the tongue is more, has more than enough power if it's on the roof of the mouth to push the upper teeth to the edges, right? And so everything starts to move into a nice straight line the way it was meant to be because that the forces, the natural forces of the mouth do that anyway, if there's enough real estate. And so to create more real estate, as I mentioned, so revive, like there's only two real principles to creating more real estate. One is putting height between the teeth, which creates that stretch. Second one is mouth locking the tooth position or the jaw position because the tooth position and the context are constantly changing with this process. And, you know, a number of people are observing this now with Revive, but this isn't something I feel like Revive needs to prove because the case study to watch is Myobrace. You know, Myobrace, its singular focus that is talked about since its founding in 1989, been used by thousands of people. There's probably hundreds of dentists all over the world that use Myobrace. And it is for teeth straightening, right? It is for arch expansion. And you see lots of cases of this online. And I think you, you tend to see more in kids because Myobrace, for the most part, is a brand that is positioned towards kids. But the same mechanics do work on adults, right? I have seen some really impressive expansion purely with a Myobrace from people that were in my Facebook group you know, back in the day. You know, if, you, if you have any doubts about straightening of teeth, expansion of the arches, I highly recommend do a Google search, start start reading about my brace and looking at before and afters of some of the people that have used that. Next question was, will this fix gaps in the teeth? So, you know, if you had teeth extracted and you're expanding, right, there's going to be some gaps, right? And and I'm like, I would be lying to you if I told you that I knew exactly where, you know, how those gaps are going to look because there's a lot of different factors involved and I'm not a dentist, I'm not an expert on teeth, right? But what I've generally found you know, from the people that I've observed and you're know, looking at pictures online is that if you expand things through the natural forces like, you know, a revive or a myobrace or something like this, things will generally look pretty good and normal at the end, even if there are gaps. Like the gaps will look relatively normal and not kind of strange, right? Whereas if you just had gaps in your teeth because you misdeveloped, like the gaps might look a little bit funny. Or if you did orthodontics and something went wrong, you have gaps. Like those gaps can look quite strange as well. Whereas generally, 
use these biomechanics, the gaps look relatively normal and don't look strange. To recap, today's video is about, yes, Revive straightens the teeth. It does this by creating more real estate because the problem of crooked teeth is a real estate problem, right? And Revive creates that real estate the correct way, whereas orthodontics and palate expansion through screw base expanders is the wrong way. Things should look relatively natural in the end. And I think Meyer Brace is a great case study in that. Thank you.